Hi students, welcome back. So Tom, time to practice some questions now. Uh, so in this part we are going to do questions based on the court and again the important results which we have learnt in the last part. So let's begin with the part. Let's look at the questions. So if the ends, these are the ends of a focal court of the parabola then we have to find the value of x1, x2 plus y1, y2. Okay, the immediately the thing that should come to our mind is that since it is a focal chord, the ends will be in the form of 1 and minus T1. Okay, so if I write it like that way, A minus A T1, A T and this one is uh, A T1 square to A T1. So this will be A minus A by T1 square. So that will plus will be there because T1 is equal to minus 1 by t2 so we can use that and this will be minus 2a by t2. Now when we apply this condition and now we multiply the coordinates a square and t1 square will get cancelled plus this will be minus 4a square and again t1 and t2 will get cancelled this will be t1 here. So this question is solved within seconds if you are quite quick at that. Uh, remembering the conditions. So this condition is very important to remember. This question was specially put so that uh, this conditions for all those who are uh, seeing this it can be uh, like make very clear that this relation has to be used. Okay. So let us see the next question. Angle between the tangents drawn from the point uh, 1 by 1 4 to the parabola y square equal to 4x okay in this case uh, the question is not 4x it's 4x only okay so because since this is a question from screen 2004 i remember it uh, so uh, this is this this is 4 y square equal to 4x so here a is given to be 1 and this is given the angle between the tangents again we can uh, use that standard thing uh, y is equal to mx plus 1 by m it passes through 1 by 4, apply that, find m1, m2. But since we have just done the properties, let's see how we can utilize the properties. So pair of tangents directly we can do, see this was a longer procedure, like uh, we first do it. So the another way if you are like doing it quickly, once you are like uh, quite familiar with it and do questions based on this, you will find it very easy. So y square minus 4x and the next one will be, 16 minus 4 that will be 12 will be equal to t square. Now t square is y y1 that is 4y plus 2a. So plus it will be minus here sorry if you remember it from this y equal to 2x plus x1. So we take all the side on one side so minus a is 1 x plus 1. So square it and you will get an equation in the form of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square the second degree equation okay second degree equation so in two variables so this for this this represents this we know that this is representing a pair of straight lines in this case it is pair of tangents so for that directly you can find the angle using uh, 2h square minus ab over a plus b. So from here you can directly you just need to concentrate on the squared uh, this three terms okay. So squared will be 12 from here this side and from this side will be 16 y square okay. So it will be uh, you can take this on here so you will get 4 y square. So this term we have got from here you will get uh, the coefficient of no coefficient of x square from this side. Here the coefficient of x square will be 4 only, okay. So b you can get it. Similarly, xy will only be once that 8xy minus 8xy. So accordingly you can figure out uh, it will become quite clear and you can solve, solve it. And once you are uh, practicing the questions like this, you can do this very quickly by using the properties, okay. So this was regarding the properties. Many questions you will find more in the test paper we will do straight from the previous year J advance and 
mains papers okay so by now you must have been realized that how much the parametric form is important in solving the questions and again these three or four topics which we have discussed in last three four parts they form the high probability part from where the questions in IIT advance and mains can come in the following parts we will again learn some miscellaneous topics which if the paper comes tough or if the paper comes a bit different so we must be knowing those comes the concepts which we will be seeing in the subsequent parts stay tuned for the coming parts